What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Hollow Mass TV. First of all, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that are subscribed. We finally reached 500 subscribers, and because we did, we'll be doing a giveaway today. The details of the giveaway will be in the video somewhere. Please watch it all the way through so that you guys can enter this giveaway and I will be disclosing what will be given away and how to enter a little bit later in the video. And as you guys already know, we'll be reviewing the Lucky Tackle Box today. So let's roll that killer intro and get right into this box. Let's open this sucker up. First thing I see, as always, is what's inside the box, along with the theme on the back of it, which happens to be transition to fall fishing, which can be a tough transition. If you guys aren't quite paying attention, you'll be out there fishing for your summer fish, you'll pull up on uh, the school that you thought was there the night before, and they'll be gone. The second thing I fought, pull out of here is the monthly Lucky Tackle Box magazine and it's transition to fall. If you guys don't happen to know what Lucky Tackle Box is, it's a monthly subscription box that you get to your door every month with different baits for the time of year of fishing. Um, it's really good if you're really trying to expand your techniques. It'll give you different ideas while you're out there on the water. Um, you may not really be a great jerkbait fisherman, but if you're out there on the water and you've thrown everything at those busting shad in the, or busting fish in the fall, you might just think in the back of your head because you saw them in your lucky tack box, you know what, maybe I'll throw that jerkbait over that point where those busting fish are and you might just get bit. So moving on, let's get into the actual lures of this month's box is and the first thing i see is big mouse bait what looks to be a jerk bait um <clears throat> it is a blue demon color it is four and a half inches long and it is three eighths of an ounce uh it looks like a rather shallow uh jerk bait maybe one to two maybe even three foot jerk bait it doesn't quite say on the back of here but i do like the color because uh a chrome or a white and blue back is matches the hatch quite well with most shafts. Let's see. And the next one we have in here uh, that I pull out is a Crave Baits Jerk Bait. It looks like it dives about the same one to three foot as that big mouth baits. It's a three and a half inch jerk bait. <clears throat> it's three eighths of an ounce and obviously it is a crawfish pattern. Um, hardware looks decent, not the greatest quality in the world, but you also have to think that they're trying to make a quality bait and to keep the price down, they put sub-quality hooks on there. They can't spend as much on the high-quality hooks. So the next one we pull out is another Crave Baits. Um, same size, same length, it's just Citrus Shad, which again, it has that blue on the back and it looks like it has uh, a little bit of green and a little bit of orange on the bottom. Now the three and a half inch, three eighths of an ounce jerk bait. Another good quality, maybe one to three foot diving depth. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, here's the other big mouth baits. This is the other big mouth baits. It's a four and a half inch, three eighths of an ounce. This is This color is shiner. It's got a little bit of a holographic pink on the bottom, and it's the black and white, which is a very common, what I call a minnow color. Those smaller, more elongated uh, bait fish um, that you see in ponds. It, they're probably baby bass, but um, I know I crappie fish sometimes, and that's the color of the minnows that come out. The next thing we have in here is what looks to be a deep diving jerk bait. So it's called the Pro Minnow by Hydrotech. 
It is three and a half inches long. It's a half an ounce. The color is black light. And I really like that because it's a hologram green with a black back and it dives down to 12 foot. It's honestly extremely hard to get a jerk bait or uh, down that deep and still have it work properly at that depth. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this is it is a longer jerk bait and still has only two hooks on it. Um, I Those longer jerk baits that I have because it's honestly really hard to land jerk bait fish. I like, I prefer the three hooks so you can get them all in their mouth. The next one in here is another Pro Minnow by Hydrotech. It's called, the color is Orange Perch. Let's see if I can get that possibly focused in there. And it has a 12, 12 foot diving depth. It's half an ounce and it's three and a half inches. This is more of a louder color that you would throw in a little bit muddier water um, off a point on some hard structure. That would be a good, a good bait to throw out there. The next thing we have that is really good in the fall is swim baits by Primitive Fishing. Looks like it's about a four inch swim bait, little paddle tail on the back of it, but it's extremely ribbed, kind of like a Kai Tech or a um, Strike King Rage Swimmer um, in a chartreuse color. This would be good in the blown out because in the fall there's a lot of weather. It's good when you have something bright and bold in the water when your lake gets blown out. This would be good to fish up shallow on those uh, fish that are busting in the back of those pockets, pushing them shad up there. All right, guys, into the giveaway portion. So what, we, what I need from you guys is for you to comment down below just the word giveaway. It's all I need you to comment. I need you to like the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do all three of those things, I will be picking a winner to take home this whole Lucky Tackle Box and everything inside of it. Make sure you comment giveaway, like the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys once again for getting Holland Bass TV to 500 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are awesome. Now let's get back into this Tackle Box so you can see the rest of it. We have another Primitive Fishing, and this looks to be like a chartreuse back with an ivory bottom belly section. It's the same, oh, they're actually bigger. This one looks like a four inch, and this one seems to be a five inch model. Um, there's no real description on the back of it, but they don't seem, they're very soft, extremely soft actually. Um, I'll be throwing these this, this fall for sure. Uh, the next thing we have in here is Gambler's Go Fish Easy Vibe. It looks like a, uh, I hate taking these things out because the scent on them is absolutely ridiculous. It smells like garlic. It is a black and blue with some silver flake in it. Boot tail uh, swim, swim bait. These are also another good one just like these to throw out. Um, on schooling fish, out on points, or even in the backs of pockets or around docks where the shad are pushed up under, any type of structure that shad's busting on, that would be a good bait to throw out there or even rolling it across the points. Um, we have another Easy Vibes by Gambler Go Fish, and this is in black and blue. So again, when you would throw this, you would also throw this because when the lake gets blown out, those fish can't see very well, and black and blue is a very good dark water color. To go along with those is bait rigs, swim bait jig heads. These are a green pumpkin color with a red eye, and they are a quarter of an ounce. These are a very good um, jig head to use. Quarter ounces when uh, those fish are busting on top, quarter ounce keeps that bait a little bit higher in the water column when they are busting on those shad to help 
the bait from sinking too quickly. You want it to act more like a dying shad rather than a rock plummeting to the bottom. And then we have another bait rigs jig head that is also one quarter of an ounce, but it's in the white, which would pair well with the chartreuse in white. Even the uh, black back with a blue belly or this um, primitive fishing four inch swim bait. These would be perfect for it. We only have two more things in this box. One of them being a grip pin edge must add flipping hook is what it looks like. And these are four op flipping hooks. There's two of them, but they seem to be a thin wire hook, which is better um, when you are casting out there a little bit further, you can set that and drive that hook home a little bit easier. Even kayak fishermen, the thinner hook is a lot better because you know it's really hard to set that hook on those kayaks. And the last thing we have in the box today is Lucky Tackle Box Tournament Grade Fishing Line. It is a 10 pound mono filament fishing line, which these would be good for tying a leader on something um, that a top water that you're throwing out there quite a ways like uh, a spook that you're working over the top of busting shad or uh, a popper that you're throwing out there trying to get it because the monofilament helps it float it gives it a little bit of a leader so that they don't see the line nearly as much as if you were throwing a braid and it does give a little bit of stretch when you are fighting those fish on treble hooks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you remember to enter this giveaway because as you already know, we're giving away this whole lucky tackle box. So make sure you guys share the video. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out so much. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Go catch your PB for me. Spartan!